from our discovery. Yeah. Yeah. I'm our own, but this guy's got his own story. And God's blessed him. He's been pastor now for uh, how many years now? Uh, seven. Yeah, seven. So here he is. He's in town. <laughs> so yeah, just a little bit of my story. Um, I was driving home from the national party yesterday and sitting in traffic on the 215 freeway and all of a sudden, I didn't—I wasn't really paying attention to where I was. You know how you get in that daze when you're in traffic and I, I get the Holy Ghost goosebumps. And I was just like, I looked to my left and I was in the exact spot right in front of March Air Force Base where I came to the end of myself. I was running like a madman, uh, barefoot at three in the morning. Uh, God was running me down. And I finally stopped and yelled to God. I said, I'm yours. And August will be 10 years since I surrendered fully my life to God. And so I looked at that spot on the side of the freeway. And then I looked back at my beautiful wife and and two beautiful kids. And just what God has done. Let's be clear. What God has done. And what he's he's done in my life. Um, uh, it, it, all these guys will tell you what a blessing it is to be called to this work, to be a set free pastor. One of my highlights is going to the ranches on Sunday evenings and, and, and speaking into their lives, you know. And I know some of these pastors were there and have come and told me, once again, God all the glory, that I spoke into their lives when they're at the ranch. And here they are, pastors. And to see how God works in women's lives and women's lives is what it's all about. That's the pay as a set free pastor. And, um, it is, a, it is a blessing, and it is a privilege, and it is an honor, but um, that being said, there's also an attack that comes with being a set-free pastor. I don't know about these guys, but, but uh, uh, you know, I know I've been going through a season, man, of, of heavy, heavy attack, but that tells me, obviously, that uh, uh, we're a threat, right? And if you're not going through attack, then you're, you're probably not a threat to the enemy. Um, uh, our ministry has been under attack. Uh, we're, we're going through a shaking right now. You know, we lost some guys. We had a guy OD. Thankfully, he didn't die. Uh, and just some of my leadership guys are going, what the hell is going on? And this is the first time I've been doing this a little while. And, and what it is, is this is God's church. This isn't my church. This isn't their church. This is God's church. And he's going to put it in order the way he sees fit. And so that's exactly what's happening. And and, and, it, and yes, going through the, the sifting, the shaking, whatever you want to call it, it sucks. But it, but it tells me that God's hand is in our church. He's not standing at the door knocking. He is a part of the set free. His hand and heart are on this ministry. Um, but it also tells me that God's preparing us for something great. For a new work. And so um, I'm, I'm encouraging my guys. I want to publicly thank them because they carry me. And these guys are saying the same thing about our discipleship. Those guys carry us. You know, especially like I said, I'm going through a heavy personal attack on, on my wife as well. Um, and it's no, it's no joke. We, we, we uh, are going against the very real devil who hates us. And he wants to make us quit. But I'm going to stand firm and keep putting one foot after the other. And I'll keep serving God.